This is a short lesson on how to draw a simple animal cell diagram, including all of the structures listed here. Let's get on with it. Start with an irregular round shape that takes up a reasonable portion of the space available. And make sure you connect up this line. This is the cell membrane. And when I say connect up the line, don't do this. That's really sloppy. Make sure that the, the structure joins where it's meant to join. And then next, we'll draw the nucleus within. Just another round-ish structure. That should do. Try not to be too perfect about this. And then next, I'm going to do some mitochondria. And for the mitochondria, I'll zoom in a bit closer. I'm going to do a little sort of small flattened structure, something like that. You can see there, I've, I've sort of broken that line there, so I'm going to do it again. There, that's much better. And now on the mitochondria, I've got this one part on the outside, and then I've got an inner membrane, and on the inner membrane, I've got these little sort of projections coming out like that. For a very simple cell diagram, you don't need to worry too desperately about the structure of the mitochondria. Just make it clear what they are. Now I'm going to draw a few of these. Okay, that's looking good. The last structure I'm going to draw are just some little dots. And these will be the ribosomes. And I'm just dotting them randomly throughout the cell. Okay, and then the last thing to do is to label everything. Okay, now what I'm going to do, as much as possible, I'm going to try and do all of the labels close to the structure that I'm labeling, and I'm going to try not to go through any structures wherever possible. So... Here's the nucleus. I'm going to put that label right there. And then using a ruler, I'll label it like that. Now, obviously, I don't really have a choice. I do have to cut through the cell membrane. And make sure, of course, that it does actually connect. For example, this is sort of loosely connecting to the structure. That's not okay. Even like this, I wouldn't accept that. And another common trick is to put a little arrow connecting to it like that. Implying that that thing that, that's just beyond the arrow is the nucleus. Again, I wouldn't accept that. The line must connect to the actual structure that you're trying to label. Okay, next we can do a label for the cell membrane. Connect that with the ruler. And the space within, it's inside of that cell, is the cytoplasm. That sort of jelly-like material where all of the chemical reactions take place. Again, connect it up. Now, for the cytoplasm, anywhere within, anywhere within the cell, anywhere to that space would be fine. Just make sure it clearly goes into the cell. 
and it's not connecting to any other structure. Okay, now let's move over to the other side because we've got a few labels there. We can add some more elsewhere. We can label one mitochondrion. connect that up with our ruler good time to point out by the way mitochondrion refers to one of them the plural you have many mitochondria And mitochondria is the plural word for that. There's no such thing as mitochondrias or mitochondrions. Okay, and the last structure to label is a ribosome. And ribosomes are responsible for making proteins within the cells. Okay, and that's about all there is to it.